Eight eight. Let's go check out this one. Hopefully they don't beat me right away. Wow. Look at that. Hopefully I can see what the other one's called. Real quick. Oh, Rathis. And you could have multiple people join the game. So, I'm gonna start. This is Raksha. If you click information, you could see recommended combat level and the rewards that you get for fighting him. And you can see other beasts and bosses to fight. So let's enter the security gate and I'll click start. So Raksha is a really cool boss, um, for sure. He's definitely gonna beat me. He's level 6,000. So right now, I'm at the archaeology site in Hetz Oasis. I'm doing excavation to train my archaeology skill over here with my T-Bone Pack Mammoth. He's a really cool looking dinosaur and Archaeology is a very difficult skill, but it's very worthwhile. First of all, because not only do you get to see dinosaurs, but let's check the map over here. So if I zoom all the way out. Let me zoom out more. So Anachronia has dinosaurs on it. And obviously down here, you can see a really cool dinosaur. If you run all the way over here, run over here. You go down through here, you run over here, you go through here. You go over here and then you go down there so that's a very specific way of doing it um, but right here is the archaeology campus and you could train with the tutor here to start you could take this boat over to anachronia and anachronia has many different dinosaurs on it and a lot of bones it's a really cool area i highly recommend it right now i'm standing next to the stormbreaker ship so you could take this to get to Anachronia. This ship is located right here, north of the archaeology campus. So Anachronia is an incredible area. You just click here and you take it. You could take the ship at any level and none of the people attack you over there, which is kind of cool so you could explore and look at the... So I just landed in Anachronia with the Stormbreaker ship. Let me quickly show the map. So it's right up here. You can't uh, set up the lodestone teleport until you get 150 stone and 150 clay by giving uh, particular items to this person here. So a large uh, focus of Anachronia are the bones. They have bones everywhere, uh, just dinosaur bones. Um, yeah, so I'll show more dinosaur bones real quick. You can, they got bones everywhere. In addition to all of the bones, they have many different types of uh, dinosaurs. None of the dinosaurs, uh, thankfully, go after your character so you're free to run by them like uh, Charlie in the Chocolate Factory with your golden cape ticket. So here's some uh, feral dinosaurs. They look pretty cool. Again, none of them really notice you so you can just run everywhere and check everything out. They got some really cool designs here. Obviously you have the blue dragons in the wilderness per my Twitch highlight. And you have the green dragons near the wilderness lodestone teleport in the wilderness dungeon. So, obviously, having dinosaurs is as cool as the demons in the Brimhaven volcano. So once you get to this area, you can activate the teleportation device, which will bring you to the Rex Matriarch's boss fight. It's located right here on the map in Anachronia. You just run around over here, run down here. There's the herbology training. But essentially you activate the teleportation they're level 888 all three of them and they will probably beat you and you have to run all the way back here if they do defeat you to level your archaeology in order to oh looks like my teleportation device worked let's go check out this area real quick normally it didn't work for me so Let's do an instance encounter. Oh, here's the Rex Matriarchs. So, you could fight the Rex Matriarchs if you go here. So, let's go check them out. They're probably going to beat me up. Let's do an uninstance encounter. So, it's a dungeon where you get to fight bosses. So, the, the Rex Matriarchs are a huge boss in this game. 
The Rex Matriarch dinosaurs are pretty huge, level 888. Let's go check out this one. Hopefully they don't beat me right away. Wow. Look at that. Hopefully I can see what the other one's called. Real quick. Oh, Rathus. So located right here is a totem pedestal. And you could purchase these from this person right here. Where you do the herbology minigame. So this totem is located right here. So keep that in mind. The ancient Zagomite Elder located here. After you do the herbology minigame. You could do it once a week or something. You could actually exchange rewards uh, for a totem piece. For that totem that I just showed you 10 seconds ago. You could also get small fire making lamps to level. So they have the totem of the abyss and totem of crystal base. You have to collect multiple parts, similar to this Gatizo to dark totem in old school runescape. Alright, so this dungeon over here, if you run all the way up over here, and then you go down here and over here, you could access this dungeon over here to train herbology at a low level. So the point of this minigame is you collect the purple herbs and you could block uh, and you gain her herbology points for blocking the green dudes. Meanwhile, you just collect uh, the corrupt herbs with your golden cape and your replica dragon armor under customizations, which you buy with loyalty points. You throw the corrupt and you level up in herbology. This is obviously on the dinosaur island, which is super cool. And then obviously you can bot level herbology in the Grand Exchange with my Excel programs. So once you get here on the map, you're going to want to cross over to the second cool dinosaur area right here on the map, right there. So you go west of there and then you cross over right there. And this is how you get to the next area. You just have to scale this huge temple and you can see another set of dinosaurs. So I made it to the next boss dungeon area. You climb the steps and you can speak with Lenikia. Um, she gives you three options and you mention that you want to open the door. So you run northeast upwards of these steps. And what you essentially do is you gather this shadow anima pool right here. You gather until it reaches 100. You click on each of them. You gather the shadow anima and then you enter the door right here. You get a very cool cutscene. And then essentially you could get ready for a huge boss fight. Against Sephiroth. Alright, let's talk to Zaros. World's Guardian, what is this place? This is a prison. A prison for what? Let me show you. You essentially just head down these stairs to fight the boss. It's a really cool looking dude. So I'm going to enter the security gate and you could have multiple people join the game. So I'm going to start. This is Raksha. If you click information, you could see recommended combat level and the rewards that you get for fighting him. And you can see other beasts and bosses to fight. So let's enter the security gate and I'll click start. So Raksha is a really cool boss, um, for sure. He's definitely gonna beat me. He's level 6 that. So I spotted this random ghost here. This is a fire drake, but... I'm training archaeology on both my screens right now. Start recording. So right now I'm standing with my replica dragon set under customizations over here. Next to a dark wizard. Or something. He looks, uh... He looks like he's emerald, made of dark matter and energy. He has the flaming skull customization. I have the golden cape. So over here, if you go to customizations, wardrobe, you could actually search for replica 
And then if you search over here, right here, you could filter by outfit. So you could do full outfit. Whoops. Located right here on the map, you could speak to Father Reinegger right here. The fastest way here is to take the Varric teleport and then run eastward. Or you could use the Ring of Dueling run north from Hets Oasis. So, essentially you speak to this guy, you follow the steps, and then once you complete all of his tutorial for Arc- So, Rainier, if you want to train your archaeology, the tutor hands you a bronze mattock. Add the mattock to your tool belt. Alright, so I'm going to left click the mattock, add it to my tool belt. Master Rainier hands you a journal. Please accept the certificate of qualification. Intern. This is to certify that Wall Street Pass has earned the rank of intern. Here's an introduction to the archaeology training skill in RuneScape 3. So once you reach level 10, at about 1200 EXP within about like 5 minutes or 10 minutes of excavating the remains here and then depositing in the bank chest right over here, then you could buy an iron mattock from the Grand Exchange. And then once you reach level 12, you could clear the Fort Debris and continue to the next area. So, as I excavate, obviously, sometimes you get an item instead of Ancient Gravel. You click it. So, I just uncovered a Venator Light Crossbow damaged. So, if you left-click it, and you can see I need an Archaeologist Workbench. I gathered the other materials for this item. So, you're able to essentially walk over here after uncovering it, and you could fix it at the Workbench. So, let's go do that right now since I have the materials. Okay, so I'm going to restore this artifact. Cool. So I restored the Venator light crossbow. So this person located right here on the map basically right next to the person who teaches you archaeology in the first place and then transports you to the second archaeological area. So you could speak with her after you restore. I got about 900 EXP restoring the Venator Light Crossbows and the Zaros Effigies. My current archaeology level is 26. So that's how many I got. I don't have enough to restore the, the Venator Daggers. I need to dig a little bit more. So let's talk to Veluccia. And I'm going to say, what are you collecting? View collections. So she's collecting a Venator dagger. She's collecting Venator crossbow. So I'm going to select contribute all. So I gave her a Venator light crossbow and a Zaros effigy. Let's look at its erosion too. So you just have to bring her items. And she collects them. The museum made a deal. And I can hand out more chronos than any of the other collectors for all of my collections. So I got chronotes. That way we can still help you out just indirectly. You can use your chronotes for all sorts of things. But mostly, here are my chronotes, which she gave me for the the Venator light crossbow and the other item. Geology guild over here. And speak with Ezreal, who is located right next to the dinosaur skull. So, I got 450 chronotes by selling the Venator Light Crossbow and the Zaros Effigy to the person over here, and I ran inside to speak with Ezreal. So, I could use Archaeology Teleport, um, teleport you to archaeological dig sites and collections. So, I got an Archaeology Teleport. Here is a Material Manual. Increases your chance of finding materials by 10% while excavating. This is high spec monocle, increases your base matic precision by 20% while excavating, increases your chance of finding soil by 10%, and then archaeologist T increases your XP by 50% while excavating. Once you reach level 12 archaeology, you can begin uh, clearing the debris from the fort right here. So obviously this area is located right here. You can teleport near Het's Oasis with the Ring of Dueling by right clicking it and going to Het's Oasis. So at level 12 archaeology, you're able to clear the fort debris. It takes approximately 6 minutes, and you'll be gathering 
the ancient gravel as it continues onwards. But once it's clear, I'll show you the inside and continue on to the next area. So while I was clearing the fort debris, I uncovered the Centurion seal. So I'll need to fix this in order to in order to open the door in finality. So let's head over to the workbench with the Centurion seal and let's restore it with these items. You still have to clear out the remaining debris, but you use the Centurion seal uh, to unlock the door once you complete it. So let me head over now and finish clearing the rest of the debris and then use the Centurion that's the last of it. Now to get through this barrier. So I'm going to open the fort entrance. Now to open this. I'm going to open it using the Centurion seal. Once you enter into the fort, you head down here and you got an archaeologist right here. You have a huge pylon and you have this prison door. It's missing one of the dials and here's Liam. You need to dig up a page for him. So right here, they have the time sprite. It's a little white orb. You could click uh, on the particular rubble that has it to get extra EXP. And you need to collect three pages for Liam. As you excavate, you locate these pylon batteries, which you can left click on that pylon to my left over there, right here. And you left click on it, and then you type in how many pylon batteries you wanna add. So you need approximately to collect about like 25 or 30 to fully charge it, you can right click and check the charge of it. I still don't know what it does. So I just found a custodian log, page one and page two. Here's page two. Oh, I wonder if there's a clue within them how to open this door. That's great progress, as is mine. I found the missing dial. Here, you do the honors. Okay. So I'm gonna left click and fix the broken dial. That places the dial there. That seems to have fixed it. Now for some sort of code, I guess. So I'm going to solve this door right here. Okay. So this door is shadow, blood, smoke, ice. So purple, red, green, smoke, and then blue. Perfect. So right now I'm opening up the door after getting the custodian log page one and custodian log page two. It worked. So let me enter the prison door. So I'm in the next area. They got ancient gravel in here. A legatus barrier, a cell door. So apparently on custodian page two, he mentions a cell door. Oh, I'm sorry, custodian page one. So if you click it and read it, he mentions that he locks himself in a cell door. Just lock myself in a cell and sentence myself to lie imprisonment. So perhaps this cell door is where his remains are. So let me study the cell door real quick. Interesting. I should come back and study this later once I have access to a research team. You need to earn the assistant qualification before you can manage a research team. So let me try to get a research team together. While I was excavating here, I found an infernal source invitation. So if you left click it, it obviously tells you about a particular inn. So I recommend obviously the clay golem quest, shadow of the storm quest in OSRS because the clay golem and shadow of the storm, they feature archeology span as does the dig site quest. And it's kind of fun and relevant to this whole archeology span build. Apparently, archaeology, you needed to teleport around Anachronia, by the way. 